going across. These are the courageous faces and the most heartbreaking legacies of war. Young people brought together in Washington for Memorial Day to honor and to heal. I try not to think about the sad stuff. Meet 12-year-old Paul Syverson. I just try to remember him as an awesome guy. And what a great dad he was. His dad, Army Major Paul Syverson III, fought in Afghanistan and Iraq. He died in combat in 2004. This is the Syversons' only family photo. Little Amy was just a newborn. The memories and the pain still raw. How do you want people to remember your husband and what he fought for? I would like him, and he, I know, would have liked to have been remembered as a great husband, a great father, and a great soldier. He loved being in the military, he loved his job, but he also loved to come home at night and be with his kids. Joey and Billy Rocco share a similar loss. Their dad, Marine Corps Major John Rocco, flew 75 helicopter missions in Iraq. I mean, no one can ever replace my dad, but I mean, it, it helps a lot to have so much support. Then in 2005, just before returning to Iraq for a second tour of duty, John Rocco killed himself. The nature of your husband's death, does it add another layer of difficulty? Absolutely. One of the first things I said is, why couldn't he have died in a cobra? It would have been so much easier, you know? It would have been so cut and dry. You could fall back and say, he died loving, doing what he loved. The fact that someone can come back from war and make it through and survive, and then kill himself, take his own life, is very confusing. Along with the Rocos and Syversons, about a thousand children and family members of fallen soldiers Smile. are here in Washington this weekend helped by an organization called TAPS, Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors. Good Grief Camp is the chance for all those who have lost a loved one in military service to come together and to become once again part of that military family on Memorial Day. <laughs> it's also a chance to let loose, enjoy the monuments, spend time with newfound friends, Every kid assigned their own mentor, many military themselves. It's about remembering the love, remembering the memories that you have with that person, not just focusing on the death. So there's a lot of joy here along with the grief. How do I look? How do I look? And though the pain never seems to be far away, at least this Everybody. weekend. After one, that's when you let go. Kids like Paul, Amy, Billy, and Joey Dear Dad, baseball season starts soon. Can let go, healing together. Don't feel bad about what happened. Carrying on the stories. I can't imagine what you were going through. And the legacies of their fathers. I miss you, love Joey. Three, two, one, football! Close to 5,000 U.S. service members have now died in Iraq and Afghanistan. It's not only a tragedy for the country, but also a personal tragedy for so many military families. And TAPS says it gets about one family per day coming to them because of suicide.